Hi, it's Jen again, and uh, I'm wearing my Getting Lucky in Kentucky t-shirt in honor of the recipe that we're cooking today. It's called Derby Pie, and it is from the kitchen of Lorette Walton, who is the cute little freckle-faced little king kitty in all of the King Family uh, videos. Anyway, this is a traditional pie that is made in Kentucky during the first weekend of May, which is the Kentucky Derby. Also, I have a son, my oldest son Cameron, that you have never seen because he is on a service uh, mission in Kentucky. So, this is in honor of Lorette and my son Cameron. And uh, I've never had derby pie. It, it, it's something that's kind of unfamiliar to me, so this should be interesting. Uh, we're going to start with two eggs, lightly beaten, so let me go ahead and crack those and I'll get right back to you. Alright, so the eggs need to be slightly beaten, so I've got my two eggs in here, and I'm just whisking them around a little bit. I have never been to Kentucky, but my son says it's very hot right now. <laughs> and uh, and uh, he loved Lexington. Thought it was the, the coolest, funnest town. He's been in a lot of... Uh, interesting, very rural areas. But right now he is in Louisville. Notice how I said that, Louisville. Takes some practice for us West Coasters and uh, he's really enjoying it. Now I'm gonna put in three quarter cup of sugar, three fourths of a cup of sugar. Um, this seems like a really simple pie. You just mix all of the ingredients together, put it in an unbaked pie shell. Of course I just spilled and uh, stick it in the oven. All right, what's next? Uh, now we need a quarter cup of brown sugar. I'm gonna go grab that and I'll be right back. Okay, now I put my uh, quarter cup of brown sugar in here and uh, I'm just mixing it all up. Looks like it's gonna be a really sweet pie. I think I failed to mention that Lorette lived in Louisville for quite some time and so that's why uh, she's got this derby pie recipe. I had never heard of it before. All right, so now I put in um, half a cup of melted butter that has cooled, so we don't want it to be hot. And I've already got it here, so I'm gonna dump that in. Mm. Got my workout in this morning. Just saying, so I can eat this pie later. All right, and then after we get the melted butter in, we put in one cup chopped pecans, which I haven't chopped yet, so I'll be getting to that in a second. And then one cup chocolate chips, tablespoon vanilla, and we pour it in the pie crust. Here are my beautiful pecans. I'm getting ready to chop those babies. Pecans are really expensive, it kills me, because they're one of my favorites, they're so good. All right, so I've got my couple of uh, I almost said walnuts, pecans here. I'm gonna dump that in. And uh, now I get a cup of chocolate chips, which I've got right here. I've got my oven preheating to 350. And uh, I gotta get my pie crust rolled out. I mean, it's already rolled out. I just have to get it in the tin. Chocolate chips, there we go. All right, this is what our mixture looks like for the pie. Really simple, easy to make. I'm surprised how fast it came together. Now let's pour it in our pie shell and go. All right, no one is allowed to comment on my fluted pie crust because I'm not good at it. So I call it a rustic looking pie crust. Uh, <laughs> I'm pouring in my filling right now, which is really chunky with the um, chocolate chips and the pecans. Mm -hmm. I bet this is gonna be good though. I, it's probably gonna be hella sweet, uh, but delicious. All right, you have to see a picture of my uh, rustic pie. No comments. Here we go. There it is, that is my rustic pie uh, pre-oven and we're gonna stick it in right now and see how it goes. All right, I have my derby pie here, and I wish you could smell it. It smells like a giant chocolate chip cookie. This is it, and uh, I will give you the verdict in uh, just a minute. Got my bowl, got my fork. Here we go. It's uh, a 
kind of like eating a giant chocolate chip pecan cookie. It's really good. It's really sweet. Um, I can see why people like it. And uh, I would definitely make this again. So thank you, Lorette, for this amazing derby pie recipe. Um, I feel like I have chocolate all over my teeth. Anyway, <laughs> thank you uh, for watching. Like and subscribe to Kentucky's Derby Pie.